on, guys. I have no. I, is it George and Ephesus still? Is that that's what we're doing? Is that it? Because we didn't finish it. It was the one where he's like, I want to get a divorce, and she's like, I'm gonna suck this dude off in this boxing studio. You? Why do you look like you've seen some shit? You're 10 months old. You haven't seen anything. Is I'm wrong? Okay, love you too. Hey guys, guys, what do we need? I think we need like 34 more followers. How about you go to that? Twitch.tv slash Poppy. We go live 8 p.m. to 1 o'clock in the morning every single day, Monday through Friday. Central time, baby. We play Dead by Daylight. Stick around to the end of this video to see some awesome clips yesterday. Very frightening. Very scared. Holy fuck, chat! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fuck! Okay, let's hop into this. Here I come, Fisa. Give me the fucking nose. I'm gonna take that shit. Literally looked like you just got out of jail. I did not know we were doing love after lockup. By the way, when's that? When's that coming back out, TLC? Huh? I know you guys don't put it out right, but you guys direct it and shit. When's that coming? Or do they post it? How does that work? I'm not sure. It's Wee TV. I missed that. I'm thinking about filing for divorce. Mm-hmm. That's exactly how a Foot Locker employee would sound if I told him I was walking in there. Yeah, I'm looking for some shoes. He'd be like, mm-hmm, yeah, no shit. I wonder if the proximity of your separation to the actual receipt of the green card affects its validity. And FISA broke my heart. So now I just need to take care of myself. You sound like every mid-20s woman I've ever met in my entire life. You also have bigger breasts, though, so I guess you have that going for you. The reason why the statues are the way they are is because they want to prevent people from getting the green card and then piecing out from the marriage right afterwards. Oh, is that a, a legal term for you guys, piecing out? Are you guys going to use that in the court of law? You know, after being treated like a dog, like, you want to see me, and I'll, I'll be mean. D don't forget that she pulled your hoe card, okay? Remember, she was going to hit you and you, you jumped? I mean, she did hit you, but the second time, and you got scared. She, she weighs as much as my thigh, dog. Okay, so one of our concerns when we had met with you previously was the fact that you own businesses. They depreciated in value and they no longer are worth anything. Feels bad, man, huh? Your life sucks. What's with everybody on this TV show just for, like had, getting a shitty haircut as their life goes on? Him and Russ now have the, Russ have the same haircut. Were there any other assets that you and Anfisa acquired during your marriage, anything of significant value. Is like handbags and rings and jewelry included? To be part yes. of it. Yes. yes. So in Fisa's entire life, okay cool. Yeah, we got rings, handbags, a new nose. George asked me to come with him to see the lawyer. It's important for me to be here to support George and I don't know if George is going to actually get a divorce, but that's what siblings are here for, to help him and push him through it and make him see it. Does she have enough money to pay an attorney? I don't think so. Okay. Having met on FISA, Junan and I don't really think this is going to go down very easily. This should be on Judge Judy. That would be, a, that would be the greatest anime crossover of all time. You know how much this would make? How much this episode would make? It would be almost as popping as if you made me the fucking host DLC. Let's do it. Run it. We have seen that she can be very combative. And I know that she also is interested probably in getting as much she can out of the divorce financially. So I don't see that it's going to be easy, but we're just going to have to find out. Always get a prenup, guys. Remember that 100% of the time. What I would suggest you do, just for the purpose of moving the settlement through the court as quickly as possible, is we would sit down, we would look at your income, we would determine if there's any spousal support payable to her at all, and then mm -hmm. we could offer her a lump sum payout right. and just yeah. be done with it. That way you have your hands clean and free from her. How does that feel, that just getting married to this cunt, you're just like, yeah, I gotta pay her to get away from her. You know, I'm not saying you deserve it, George, but you deserve it, George. That's like me getting a new dog and be like, oh, I gotta fucking train it now? You gotta let it out? I gotta like bathe and shit. I didn't sign up for that. I just wanted a dog. That's like when the dog brings you a ball, you know, but it doesn't want to give you the ball to throw. It wants you to just throw the ball without you taking the ball from him. I mean, thankfully you haven't been married very long. I hate to say that, but it's much, much cleaner when it's yes. a short-term marriage because it's really just about pushing the paperwork through the court and getting rid of the person. It's a well-learned lesson that I've 
have to yeah. go through. Once you've been bit once, you know what to look for, so you won't yeah. get bit again. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was poetic. The fact that you quite literally had to learn this lesson is hilarious to me. Everybody pretty much knows how this was gonna go down. Anybody could just see that this was a bad idea. No lesson needed to be learned. It's gonna happen again though, I, I'm, I'm calling it. And you look more relaxed now. You really do. Yeah. You really do. do. Thank you so much. I don't know if that was a compliment, actually. Isn't that what they use in those bacon neck commercials when they're trying to sell Hanes? She's like, wow, you look really relaxed and comfortable and his neck is all fucked up with, with hair like that. Thank you. See you guys soon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I loved Amphisa so much that I was blind to a lot of things. You know he should just lose his virginity and just fuck his sister. George, you're, you're running out of time here, man. And I put up with more than I should have. Now I'm just resentful. Didn't know this was a fucking G-Shock commercial. Our divorce might impact her green card, but that's... And Fisa's problem to worry about. I would be so fucking hyped if I was him. Are you kidding me? Could you imagine her getting her green card revoked? That would feel so goddamn good. But I have this feeling, this deep pain feeling that that's not gonna happen. That might have just been put on for the TV show. <gasps> she could lose her green card. I gotta wait and watch till next week. Who does that? Who does cliffhangers like that? I'm over it. George, I can read you like a thick book. You're not over shit, I can see it in your face. You love this bitch, you are so hurt, you're like, I'm over it. No, right now you're about to drive home and go binge eat a whole box of Pop-Tarts. Covered in mayo. How's that sound, does that sound good to you? Did anybody see that video on Facebook of that girl who was really drunk just pouring uh, mayo into her mouth? And like, uh, God, I'm just thinking of it makes me throw up. And then like drinking Coke and then like swishing her mouth, Dude, I'm actually gonna puke. I hide it every time I see it, but I just want to know if you guys saw that too. I'm not going to go find it and put it in here, because I literally can't fucking watch it. Story time about mayo. I know it's really, this really relates to 90 Day Fiance. So one time I was at my house, and this one dude I used to hang out with, he fucking sucks. He was like, hey, you want to see, see something cool? I was like, yeah. He's like, go get a jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> I was like, alright. Here you go. Gave him the mayonnaise. He opened that shit up, right? I thought he was going like, to make it disappear or something. Takes a spoon. Just... Puts a little spoonful of mayonnaise in his mouth. I don't hang out with this guy anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love George. I love Enfisa. There's no Enfisa in this. Is this technically a George and Enfisa? A George and George. George of the jungle. Are we making this run too long? Well, Run that fucking Twitch clip, bitch! Mm, I have no idea who we're doing next. Once you got... I just popped a gem. Chat, 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 oh, oh. See the problem? I, oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, the one right by me is being worked on. Starting. I'm coming to you. I'm gonna pop you off. We're gonna heal right here. Okay. Run, run, run. Run. Okay. Run. Oh, fuck! In this shack house. Oh, okay. I'm here. Oh, I'm safe, so let me heal you. <laughs> 